let's talk tech. I don't ever want to leave a database that I'm paying for open to the public internet. That's okay. step one. And I'm paying for these databases. Okay. That's well, the you're, thing. you're authenticating them to the user, you're saying. I am. Yeah. You're going to love this. Um, I wish this had something stronger in it than water. I know it's early and we got to get, we got to get after and energy going. It's actually running on a server. So a lot okay. of people are like, Hey, why don't you do PG light? Put it in the browser. It's just, you run into the limitations immediately. Yeah. Immediately. No, terrible. I, it's I massive. Part of that. I want I got no like, part of How that. am I going to load any reasonable amount of data no, in the no. user's browser? It's terrible. What if yeah. I want to teach post GIS? Like, give me a break. No, that's and a terrible idea. Importantly, there's no there's no MySQL wasm. Well, so now I have yeah. to invent this wheel anyway. Let's just start right. by inventing the wheel. Yeah. I just I want agree. their browser to be able to issue a post request. That's yes. it. And you know, right. paint some HTML and CSS. That's all that right. matters. So here's the setup. The databases are running on fly.io machines. Okay. Uh, a machine is like one instance of a micro VM, mm -hmm. like Firecracker. You have an individually addressable VM and these databases are very, very small. So the way that it works is my Laravel application that serves the website and the videos is in charge of provisioning these fly.io machines. And the fly.io machines take a uh, Docker file. So I've, I've written some mm -hmm. Docker okay. for, you know, maybe you the chat, first time ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and chat wrote some Docker. <laughs> so the fly platform takes these Docker files and turns yeah. them into, you know, machines that can be spun up very quickly. Yeah. So every user is getting their own virtual machine. That's step one. Important. Nobody's mucking around with anybody else. There's no like no. crossover. No, ev everything's just discrete. And if it goes bad, right. we throw it away and we build a new one. That feels okay. good to me. When the user's logged in and they type something into the query box below the video and they hit, you know, run query, it goes through my Laravel application. It's never going directly to the database. It's posting to my actual okay. Laravel server. Okay. And then I am using Laravel to go out to what is in this case, the Postgres database. 